For centuries, mosques have been a symbol of peace and unity for Muslims. Yet, in Canada, a land of diversity, some have become targets of hate. Muslims are not safe in this country. Four members of the Afzal family were killed while taking an evening walk in London, Ontario. A video posted to social media shows what it seems to be a man trying to break in. Three worshippers were inside at the time during morning prayers. Where six people were killed and 19 others injured. The police investigating after a man was attacked outside of a mosque. I'll never forget the way my son Adam, four years old, I had him close to my heart, he was shaking. Anti-Muslim activity increased in Canada by 150 percent. We believe the victims were targeted because of their Islamic faith. We hate Islam. We hate Islam. From Quebec to London, Muslim Canadians have faced a rising wave of hate attacks. The axe attack at Dar al Tawhid Mosque in Mississauga, driven by pure hatred, added to the list of tragedies. The man who assaulted worshippers at a mosque in Mississauga, Ontario last year has been sentenced to eight years in prison. He had been inspired by the deadly Quebec mosque attack as well as the 2019 mosque shooting in New Zealand in which 51 people were killed, another 40 were injured. I hope that this case still shows us how much more needs to be done to combat hate. Today was the sentencing of the man who attacked this message in March 2022. It came at federal time. You know, we were in court today and he was sentenced to eight years in prison. People were in a really vulnerable position. Their backs were turned towards him. He came in with an axe um, and bear spray um, and he proceeded to attack essentially um, those who are praying um, at their most vulnerable. He was planning this for over a year how he had different messages that he had planned to attack, that he came here hoping to harm and to kill Muslims for no reason other than that they are Muslim and that he hates Islam. Hearing all of these horrific details really sends this shocking signal throughout our community in terms of more needs to be done to challenge Islamophobia. When one community is impacted, all of Ontario is impacted and we must do better. Canadians are not often not aware of the fact that hate incidents have a lasting effect on its victims or its survivors in this case. We've, we've had to put locks on the doors. And there's a passcode on the door to enter the message just because people were really struggling um, psychologically after this attack. Many of my friends, many of my little cousins, when they enter a mosque, they actually look at the exits. Um, they actually think about all of the scenarios that can play out. Um, and they're actually fearful. And this is a space where kids come to play. Kids experience joy here. Moving forward, we hope that our leaders take this seriously and that they implement different measures to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Hate does not come from nowhere. It's a result of deep-seated prejudice. But communities across Canada are fighting back. From workshops to community outreach, the fight against Islamophobia continues and unity shines through. Hatred might have caused a moment of darkness, but unity, love, and understanding are the lights that will guide us forward. Together, we stand against Islamophobia. Together, we build a brighter Canada.